Okay, it seems like everybody had trouble with the quiz from yesterday, which was over solving equations in a transversal. So we're going to do a corrections video for this. I want everybody to do this for warm-up today. So if you'll label it with the title of the quiz, and write what I write. All right, the first one gives us the transversal diagram and it tells us that this angle is 71 degrees and asks us for this angle. So if you remember, we've been doing this by making arcs. So if I go from left to right and make an arc, I can see that the 71 degrees and the X, oops, I put the X in the wrong place. Sorry about that. The X should go right here. I can see that the 71 degrees and the X both have arcs on them. So that means that X is the same as the other angle. It's 71 degrees. They're the same. Okay, and if we wanted to get even more technical, we could say that they're alternate interior angles. <clears throat> All right, number two, <clears throat> we have this diagram. Doesn't have to be perfect, just draw it as best you can. This angle is 55 degrees and they want us to tell what X is. Again, if I use my marks, if I go top to bottom, top to bottom, I can see that X is marked, but the 55 degrees isn't. That means that they're not the same. That means that I have to subtract from 180. And I get 25, uh, excuse me, 125 degrees. The next one, we have this diagram. Kind of looks more like this. And it says that this angle is 76 degrees, and this one is 6x plus 10. All right. So if I do my arcs, I'm going to do top to bottom again. I see that 76 and the 6x plus 10, they're both unmarked. They are the same. They're also alternate exterior angles. So that means they're equal. That means I need to set it up like this. 6x plus 10 has to equal 76 degrees. Now you can insolve this, or if you don't have a calculator, you could solve it by hand. The opposite of plus 10 is minus 10, so 6x would equal 66, and then divide by 6, and you get x equals 11. And the last one, has a diagram, again, it looks kind of like this, except the transversal is going this way. And it says 132 degrees here, and it says 3x plus 9 here. Again, if I do my arcs, let's just say I'm going left to right. And I can see that 132 is unmarked, and 3x plus 9 is marked. That means they're not equal. That means they add up to 180 degrees. That means that 132 plus 3x plus 9 has to equal 180 degrees. <clears throat> At this point you can insolve to get the value of x, or if you solve by hand, you would have to do 132 plus 9 is 141. Subtract 141, and you get 3x equals 39, and then you divide by 3, and you get 
x equals 13. Now the question says, what is the measure of angle 3x plus 9? In this particular question, they didn't ask me for the value of x. They asked me for the measure of this angle. So that means I need to take the 13 and plug it in right there. So I'm going to do 3 times 13, because that's in place of the x, plus 9. And 3 times 13, let's see, that's 39 plus, excuse me, yeah, 39 plus 9 would be 48 degrees. This is the answer. There's all my answers. And this is your correction for yesterday's quiz. Make sure that you get them all on paper. And if you're remote, you can send them to me through Canvas. Or if you're here in class, you can give them to me by hand.